Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I'm going to show you a Walmart stock up haul of canned meat and seafood. When I'm not traveling, I'm prepping and I'm here also to help you organize your preps. So I'm going to do a little series on Walmart stock up hauls because I'm stocking up again for mainly my long-term prepper pantry and for some of my extended pantry. I will be giving you prices. I, I've listed them all over here. Let's start here with the chunk chicken breast. There are four in the pack and it's in water, fully cooked. So I got four of those and I like to get them in pairs, whether it's a two or four or six or basically even numbers because you know that two is one, one is none. There are a couple things here that I just got one because I wanted to try it first. So these are $9.98 per a four pack. For the Vienna sausage, these are six packs of 4.6 ounces, and I got two of them, and these are $3.77 each. And if you've seen any of my other stock up hauls, you know that we do stock up on Spam. It is something that we like eating. I grew up eating Spam. I'm Filipino. Let me know in the comments below if you can relate. And it's not just prepper pantry food for me, but luckily, it is part of a prepper pantry that's recommended, so it works out. So for the Spam, there is a, I got the two-pack classic. I've also tried the Walmart brand, which is completely fine. Um, but I decided this time to just get the regular Spam. And each two-pack is $6.67. And I got four of them, so that is eight total. And then this is the Great Value Walmart brand of roast beef. I've never tried these. So I decided to get two to try one because this looked more promising. It's in beef broth, fully cooked, and I got two of those, and those are $3.74 each. Then I got one of these. It's um, fajita seasoned beef strips. I just got one because they are, it is $5.78, so that's almost $6 for this can. So I wanted to try it first before I go back to see if I'll uh, stock up on those. And I decided to get one of these because I haven't tried th this either. It's pulled pork and barbecue sauce. It's in a packet. And I was trying to look online when this expires. So I just, I couldn't find it. So I got one. And uh, you can see that it expires in uh, October 21, 2024, which is in over a little two years. And so if I like this, I'm going to grab more of those uh, because it's just a different variety, pulled pork already in barbecue sauce. And the last canned meat here is uh, cooked ham by this brand, Bristol brand. I have the other brand, I think it's uh, DAC, if that's, if that's how you pronounce it. I think it's D-A-K. And those were expensive. This is $3.57. Now, again, as far as taste, I haven't tried these, but I do know we like ham. And so um, this has water added, smoke flavoring added. And then you can, let's see what the expiration date is here. 2027, okay, that's like in, what, five years? So if I like that, I'm gonna stock up more on those. All right, let's move over to the seafood section. Here I got whole oysters because uh, I um, read that it's supposed to be a little bit uh, healthier, obviously, than this canned meat. So we have a few options like that. The ones that are just, you know, you don't have to prepare. Okay, so whole oysters, got two of them. These are $2.98 each. They're boiled, okay? And then I'm looking for the expiration 2026, okay, four years. So all of these I'm going to try because I haven't tried the that, I haven't tried the crab meat, I haven't actually even tried the salmon. So this I love, the sardines. So every one I'm gonna try one, and if I like it, I'll replace the one and then add more next time when I do a stock up haul. Okay, so for the bumblebee crab meat, this is two dollars and ninety four cents. Um, see, expiration is twenty twenty six, so that's in about like three and a half years. Okay, and then sardines. I like the hot ones. I have the regular ones also, but I actually eat these probably about once a month, um, so it goes through my rotation. Uh, I just they're really good. Okay, and then the expiration here is twenty not focusing 2026 November good expiration dates and these are also two dollars and 98 cents 
$2.98. The crab meat is $2.94. I don't remember if I said it. Okay, anchovies I use all the time. Uh, so I did want to get some for my long-term pantry aside from my regular pantry. Okay, and then these are just $1.68. I love it when once in a while we order pizza or other things I use, use this for 2023, so one year. So that's why I don't stock up a lot on them. I usually have about two in the pantry and I'll probably keep two in the prepper pantry. Okay, salmon, $4.37. So um, if you actually order online the Walmart website, you can just uh, search salmon and you'll see different prices uh, the Walmart brand was only limiting to one can of salmon. And so this one was allowing me to have at least eight, obviously. I think it was allowing me to have more, but I picked eight because they're four thirty seven dollars each. And it's wild-caught salmon. So I thought that would be a better choice. And then expiration, September 2026, so four years. That's great. I got eight of them. And then I got some uh, beef jerky because I wanted to put some in my bug out bag. Now they, each box is $13.98. And I feel like this was a bad purchase. And so next time I'm just gonna go to Costco and see what they have there. Cause I, I don't buy jerky a lot. So I'm not really sure the pricing or what the prices are now, but they come in these little packets and I think you know, they're perfect for bug out bags, but as far as my long-term pantry, I want to get more of the, the bigger ones, the ones probably from Costco. And there are there are nine in each. And so I got two of them uh, because I'll probably use one and a half for our bug out bags. And then whatever's remaining, I'll put in my long-term pantry. So I'm learning from this purchase, probably won't do it again. And the last item here for this haul is this box of Slim Jims, 46 of them, snack size. I do like Slim Jims, so I know that's okay. And this was $9.83, so I feel like that was a mistake. I'm gonna go check out the ones at Costco and uh, most likely get those. Again, I, wanted, I didn't want a lot because I'm gonna put some of these in my bug out bag and then the remaining in the long-term pantry, but once I finish the bug out bag uh, refilling, then I'm gonna get the one probably from Costco for uh, my long-term pantry. I hope you enjoyed this Walmart stock up haul of canned meat, canned seafood and jerky. Let me know in the comments below what you are stocking up on that you see here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.